I think defensive players need protection too, man. <laughs> that stuff's bad. That's bad for the game. Is that a sign of respect that you're getting chipped now? <laughs> man, I don't want no respect if that's what comes with it. I'm good. What do you think of the pass rush overall? Did you were missing some guys and it looked as if you guys were getting a lot of pressure tonight. Oh, yeah. I think we did a great job as a whole front. Uh, we saw a lot of inside pressure, I think. Guys like Osa and uh, Juice and Big Q really stepped up today. And Urban, I mean, they did a terrific job up front today. And, you know, we just emphasized pressure all week, and it played out very well. We liked our matchups. How much of a difference did, it, did Randy make for y'all tonight? Well, he made a huge difference, definitely after losing D.A. Um, you saw he had a couple of penalties. Uh, people were holding him. Um, I think he's just a violent, very good player. Uh, helps me with my game every day. Uh, great person to have on the team and in the room. When, when do you know, Micah, that the other team knows that you are just physically better and beating them up? Uh, so you saw by, I would say, as soon as Diggs had that pick, right coming out of half, I mean, I saw the whole energy low. Um, the whole momentum shifts. I mean, when you got contagious energy, everybody just excited to see each other make those type of plays. I mean, it's hard to come back from that. And, I, and that's one thing I like about this team. Like, everybody can eat, you know. Ain't just one person out there making plays. There's a whole bunch of people making plays. And it's just so contagious right now. And I just like the momentum we got going on. And we just got to keep doing it one week at a time. Jason Hurts around that remind you of who you used to play? Just ch chasing guys like that who can scramble. Yeah, I mean, very good player. I mean, you saw him extend plays a lot today. Him get out of some tricky situations that most quarterback weren't, most quarterbacks wouldn't get out of. So, I mean, he's dynamic, man. So, I mean, I thought we did a great job containing him for the most part, though. Johnson's been one of the better right tackles in the league for a while now. Just what were your impressions going against him? Man, I think I, I to me, you know, you guys got to remember, I'm still a rookie. You know, what I mean, I think people will be forgetting that. So, I'm still fanboying. And, uh, over Landon Johnson. This is a guy I drafted mad in franchises and things like that. I mean, I thought he was a great player. And obviously, I think I got the respect. I got his jersey in this bag, in my bag. So I was really excited when he asked me for one of my jerseys. So happened, I was going, I had two jerseys with me. So I'm really happy I got that exchange because, I mean. He asked you for your jersey after the game? Yeah. What did he, tell you? he was like, I just think you're a great player. Keep going. And, you know, I just want your jersey. So I was really excited when he asked for my jersey. I'm going to say, I'm like, man, Lane Johnson just asking for my jersey, bro. You know how crazy that is. <laughs> and for me, you know, I think, you know, that's a potential, like, Hall of Fame player. So, I mean, that's, like, big for me. How do you kind of bat, and you're talking about, you know, still acclimating to the, the NFL, which you've watched. Like, how do you balance, like, holy crap, I watched this guy, but, I mean, then you got to go beat him on the next rep. I mean, I see my plate. I see his plate. I can't leave my plate unfinished at the table. So, I mean, that don't mean nothing to me because, you know, at the end of the day, I got a job to do. I got a job to help my teammates and win games for this organization. So, I mean, as much as I love a guy, I mean, I still got to win my one-on-one -on -one against him. You're a linebacker by trade, I assume. Are you feeling this defensive end thing a little bit more and more? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, tr tricky question, but I mean, it's just whatever. I'm just balling, you know what I mean? When you just like the ball, you just got to be a baller at the end of the day. Sometimes you might not like certain situations, but you can't let that dictate how you play. So I'm every day, whether I'm at linebacker or whether I'm there, I'm going to just play 100% because when you play 100%, good things happen. So I'm not going to go out there and half-ass it because I got an attitude. Now nah, we're going to go win the game. You also make problems for the, the opponent because they don't know where you're going to line up and how you're going to get to the QB. Yeah, and I mean, sometimes I drop back. Like, I don't rush every time. So, I mean, it, it, I think it becomes challenging. And like I said in the preseason, it just makes your chess piece more valuable. So the more I can do, like you saw me say I was over a D-tackle some. Like, the more I can do, the more I can get on the field. And the more I'm on the field, I feel I can be dynamic and help win. So as long as we win it and I can be dynamic, I see no problem in me playing DN. D tackle, outside linebacker, middle linebacker. It is what it is at the end of the day. Do you he think this is the truest sense of what this team is, this performance? Okay. Ah, nah, because we still left plays out there, believe it or not. Like, we still getting better every day. And I don't think 
we realize how good we are until we're watching. It's like I'm watching the offense. Like, man, they unstoppable. But it's the same def- offense that, like, I feel like in camp we was going toe to toe with. So people gonna start believing in this offense. People gonna start believing in this defense because people. I heard all preseason saying this defense was trash, and we just keep showing up every week, surprising people, and we're gonna keep surprising people. This being your first pro game here at home in this stadium, anything stand out? How electrifying it was. I got a lot of Penn State vibes in here, a lot of blue and white. I just love it. Uh, they came rowdy, and you know we just need them to come every game. I think that's our biggest advantage. You saw how many mistakes they made offsides. It's because they was being loud out there, and I love it out there. We just got to keep bringing that energy. In your experience just across your career, what do you think is the biggest factor in consistently generating takeaways? Um, I would say taking your shots. When it's there, you got to take your shot. Like, you know, sometimes you could be hesitant. You're like, man, I think this is coming. But when you put enough preparation and you wanting to outdo the other person, that's going to create takeaways. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just got to do what you do. I mean, Trey's a, Trey's a ball player, man. I told him I was starting my MVP all-pro corner for Trey Diggs already, man. He's just – man, he's just helping his defense so long. And he's really making it easy for guys like me to get to the quarterback and things like that. So, very happy for him. And I just hope we just keep making takeaways. What do you like about the way Trey competes in practice? Hmm? Huh? The way Trayvon competes in practice, what, what do you like about it? He brings that dog every day. Like, I think him going against CD, Mari, I mean, you got, I mean, it's so much deeper than that. You see Seth out there, you see No out there. I don't see a wink link in that receiving core. And, I mean, you got MG too. So, Trey every day is challenging, pushing them every day. And, I mean, you guys are seeing it out there. Like, I think he's ready for the moment. He told me he's going to be the best. So, that's, I don't expect nothing less from him.